ready for the Emily in Paris premiere. In Paris? The ones we'll remember when I went to the Emily in Paris season two premiere last year. My first real like influencer event. I forgot my ring light and this lighting is not kind to me. I'm even using my little Emily in Paris brushes. I came all the way here for one day. I arrived last night and I leave tomorrow morning. I did it in the Eiffel Tower last night. Today we did a little photo shoot. We had a tour of Emily's Paris. We went to her apartment. We went to Gabrielle's restaurant. So this little macaron beauty blender. So cute. Then obviously I squeezed in some shopping. I've got quite literally the bag of my dreams. Do you want to see? God, this lighting is stressing me out. Also I forgot black eyeshadow, so this is going to have to work. Keep going all day long. Not going to. Even better news is that my hair hates Paris. So I'm going to do it up. You have some inspo. Helpful that I have no hair product with me whatsoever. Just move every flyaway with this eyebrow gel. I have a feeling the back is a disaster. But what I don't know can't hurt me. Go to part two for the outfit. So we all remember this dress. Well, she has a sister. Winter sister. I could be a bank robber in this. What are these for? Oh, for your ears. <laughs> Perfect. It is from the same place as the famous net dress. <laughs> Tricky. Giving winter. Can't wear anything with sleeves. Oh, we're rather doing the fingers again. No. I think it needs to be more like LA winter. It's cool. I like that. I think it needs a baggy jean. I think we went too far. Still need a name for it. What would we call this? Hood gloves? A glued? Hood sleeve glove? Hus gloves? Okay, this is this is gonna have to be it. I think it might be cool with the jacket. I don't know if this defeats the point of God, innovation. Fingers have all got holes so you can text. God, this is genius, I take it back. Should we do a bag? Why not? Let's do a bag. I actually hate to tell you this, but I like it. Okay, well, the hood needs work. Should I keep it? Whatever this is. See you tomorrow. In here is the most expensive and maybe stupidest thing I've ever bought. Let's open her together. Don't judge me. It is a onesie Prada ski suit. Before the little elves go Googling how much this costs, I did get it in Europe, which is one of the ways I justified it. So I paid it the Euro price, which was a lot less. Before we put it on, we have to layer because I am actually going skiing today. And it is negative 14 outside. And First one, fleece line leggings. Sports bra. Turtleneck. Okay, normally I would leave it at this, but because of the absolutely foul temperatures. One additional sweater. It pains me to cut those off. I keep them in case I ever want to sell it, which I definitely won't. The other way I justified this thing is that I had my last ski suit since I was 14. I figured I'm probably gonna wear this for at least like 20 years. Oh my god! Ah! Okay. Now I'm gonna show you the lunch attire. A chic with my helmet and gloves. What do we think? See you tomorrow? I feel like a challenge again, so let's style some more sexy lingerie as clothes. This time we have a dress. Using dress in the loosest term here. But sheer is in, and I think I can make this cool. Okay, so I do have the matching bra. This whole set is from Savage Fenty. This is gonna be good, I know it. I do also have the matching skirt. Okay, we're getting the big boys out. Okay, so the problem is, I think this is supposed to be like that. Or option two. Feeling very hocus pocus. I have to take the tights off, aren't I? Okay, I'm gonna throw on a mini. And when in doubt, definitely feeling a little bit Wednesday. I think she needs a jacket. No, no jacket. I guess you will do. Okay, this is the outfit. How do we think I did? See you tomorrow. Can you guess what I've been buying? I think it's the most rhinestones yet. How the fuck do I get this on? Okay, looks like she needs some styling. Now on the website, they did her completely naked underneath, but this is not that kind of account. The closest thing we can do to that is it's thrilled to announce it's a lot more comfortable than the star skirt, but I don't really like it. Doing best with black underneath so you can really see. These are all like multicolored. So I need to get a black slip dress. I'm gonna try it with a corset underneath. I want it to still be going out, you know? You can't just do this with a tank top. Oh. Oh, I hate putting these on and being reminded of the pain of my female ancestors. Crazy to think that not only did women have to fight for suffrage, but they did it in these. <laughs> what if we did a belt? Yes, all she needed was a belt. Almost perfect, but I don't like that the colours don't match. No, we'll just do a black shoe. These are fun, right? Would I dare? I think I would. Sure, you guys are screaming right about now. Fuck the little handbag. And this is the outfit, what do we think? See you tomorrow. No. <laughs> Let's get ready for New Year's. Oh, I forgot these are red. Need to wash them, yes. <laughs> Extensions are truly on their last leg. Only really work for an updo, which I feel like works because it's raining. <laughs> yeah, this is the look. Obviously, we're gonna do a rhinestone makeup look. The inspo, I kind of want to be somewhere between these two. Did the makeup by Mario Shimmers on the lid. And then I'm gonna add the diamond balm as well. 
the best trick I ever learned for doing rhinestones. One end in a candle, the other end in the glue. Glue where you want the rhinestone. Pick it up with the wax end. See, it sticks to the wax. Boom, takes like 10 seconds. Two hourglass foundations together. Hostess concealer. Oh, that was cold. I'm gonna use my big boy powder. Finish these eyes. This guy on the waterline. I'm gonna put a little bit of this diamond balm as highlight too. And this is the finished look. Go to part two for the outfit. Go on then, let's pick this New Year's outfit. Quite right, option one, as suspected, extremely cute. Option two, also extremely cute, but there's a problem. Andrew failed to mention until yesterday that today's show of his is uh, outside. It's a festival. These are the shoes I was banking on wearing with these. Wouldn't we be just in the ground dead? I think I could still do one of these with boots. I know how much you guys love a blazer, but I hate it. It's giving like bad Glastonbury. I do have this guy. In my mind, because it has legs, it will be warm. So we need a jacket. I know you hate this one. I just want to see. You can meet it halfway and do my little area do. How cute are these 23 earrings? Do it this way or this way. I don't want everyone thinking I'm 32. Andrew, is it good or is it weird? Andrew. Andrew says he hates it. No. Get out. <laughs> I thought this was the outfit. Maybe not. Tell me what to do. I've got like an hour so I can change. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Let's get dressed to go to a movie premiere. It's really cold in LA. and it was $400 and I want to see if I can style it. Okay, so it goes like that. It's immediately way more flattering than I thought. Obviously we're gonna have to do something up here and potentially down here. Okay, hear me out. I think it might work, but I'm gonna try something else. Pink top might work because of the cups. No. It's like they did it with a bathing suit top. Also it might work. Let me put something underneath here. I absolutely need the white top. It's kind of like Pirates of the Caribbean wench. Let me see if I can accessorize it. What if? How does Sammy do this every day? And after all that, I feel like it's giving Oktoberfest. Summery brown belt. Maybe it's the underneath that's wrong. If I get a black dress underneath? What am I thinking? What a colorful underneath. Oh, because I think there's merit to this. Blue or brown shoe? Right. Still needs more. A perfect blue bag. Brown shades. High fashion Bella Hadid spiky bun. You cannot tell me I'm not onto something. This is definitely the outfit. See you tomorrow. Oh, I've been buying jewelry that's clothes again. We all remember this guy, right? Well, I found her more expensive big sister. Oh my god. This shirt is a thousand dollars. Don't worry, I did get it on sale. On the website, it was just alone. The only problem is it's a little bit see-through. Try layering it. First thought was this. It's all sparkly, keeps it simple. Absolutely not, ruins the neckline. This dress, I think, has a more similar neckline. It's definitely better. I feel like it's distracting a little from how sparkly this is. Ooh. Let me see if I can figure something out. Oh, I stuffed some nude underwear in them. I feel like I can wear it on its own. Low rise white pants. Okay. Definitely not. I think we're getting somewhere. In my mind is Vegas. Cause where in God's name else are you wearing this? No, no, no jacket. Cause you know what? A hoe never gets cold. Obviously that's what we're doing. With the shoes, you might have to dig my grave cause I am dead. Obviously a sparkle bag. And I think in theory, this would be the outfit. What do we think? Do we like it enough to keep it? One, two, three, four.